Here at the Columbus Zoo, we have a new resident at Discovery Reef. His name is Dill Prickle, and he is a long spine porcupine pufferfish. Currently, he's residing in a back of the house quarantine area where he goes through routine quarantine, just like all the other fish we get in here at the zoo. This species of pufferfish, the porcupine pufferfish, is found all across the world, basically in any tropical waters. You'll find them in Florida, and you'll also find them in the Indo-Pacific, which um, is where most of our fish behind me in Discovery Reef are from. Pufferfish are a pretty unique fish. They're called pufferfish because they literally can puff up. If they feel threatened, they can ingest water into their stomach, which blows them up like a balloon. And that way, whatever's trying to attack them will probably leave them alone, especially these guys who have pretty long spines on them. A lot of people don't realize that fish really do have their own personalities. Dill especially, he identifies with us keepers and he'll come right up to the surface of the habitat. So fish are really cool just in general. They do have really distinct personalities. Mr. Dillprickle did find himself in a little bit of a pickle. We did notice that the sheen in one of his eyes wasn't quite the same as the other. And when the vets came down to take a look, it turns out that it was because the lens in his eye had come loose and was floating around. So surgery was suggested to help him retain vision in that eye. Dill Prickle had a condition called a lens luxation. What that means is there's a structure in the back of your eye that helps focus light, helps you see far and close, and for him it actually moved or kind of fell forward into the front of his eye. Why that's a problem? It can cause a lot of discomfort. So the fluid that should move around the eye normally, that can be blocked by the lens being in front of the eye and can cause something called glaucoma, pressure buildup in the eye, and could potentially long-term lead to him needing the eye removed. So we wanted to address it early to make him comfortable and make his vision as best as it can be. The typical way to correct a lens luxation is by removing that lens. So we wanna take that structure out of the front of the eye things get a little bit more complicated when your patient lives underwater. So fish get all of their oxygen from the water that they swim in, so they can't be out of the water for an extended period of time. However, there are ways we can get around that to do anesthesias for these guys. So the biggest is that we're gonna provide water over the gills during the whole procedure, so he still gets that oxygen that he needs. We can also then put our anesthetic in that water so we keep them asleep and comfortable throughout the surgery as well. So the gills themselves are actually covered by a protective um, structure called an operculum. So when you see a fish gilling or moving those slits, you're not actually seeing the gills in most cases. You're seeing that outside flap, and that is actually moving the water under the gills, which lie just beneath. You can also access the gills by going inside the mouth. So what we did is we put a tube into his mouth, and then we flowed water over his gills using a syringe of that anesthetic water, and that allowed both gill sets to be bathed in that anesthetic water and keep him oxygenated throughout. We were really lucky in having Dr. Tara Webb, who's one of the ophthalmologists at MedVet Specialty Hospital, come help us out with dill prickle surgery. So zoo vets, we know a little bit about a lot of species. We have to kind of know a little bit about everything, but this procedure in particular is very specialized and something we wanted to make sure we had an expert come help us with. And Dr. Webb is that expert. She does this procedure all the time on cats and dogs, and the structures are pretty well conserved across species. So the lens in dill prickle is pretty similar to the lens in a cat or a dog, so she was easily able to go ahead and remove that for us. Dill Prickle did really well and the procedure overall went swimmingly. He was a great anesthetic candidate, he was nice and relaxed the whole time. Dr. Webb within 20 minutes was able to have that lens out and make him much more comfortable. And we're super hopeful and optimistic that as he's continuing to heal up well, that soon he'll be in his permanent habitat and be able to see and comfortable for the rest of his life. Dill surgery went great. He's back in quarantine and eating well. His eye looks really good. Um, it looks like he's regained some of his vision in that eye. So we couldn't be happier. We're really excited to have a porcupine puffer fish back here at Discovery Reef. He is a little bit too small right now to put into the habitat, but hopefully in the near future, he'll find his home with the 300 other fish we have here in the reef, including five species of sharks. So come by the Discovery Reef next time you're here and check out all the cool fish that we have here.